Microsoft Forms is a relatively new part of Office 365 and is available to anybody who has an Office 365 education subscription. And what Forms allows teachers to do is to create assessments, surveys, quizzes, questionnaires, etc. in a very simple and easy to create manner. And once you have created this kind of assessment, you can send it out to your students via link and you get immediate feedback. So what this video is going to do is demonstrate how you can quickly use this tool to create an assessment literally within minutes. So the first thing that you need to do is log into your Office 365 account and this should bring you to this landing page. You should see one of the new tiles on your screen should say forms. However, if you don't see it, you can come over to the upper left hand side, which will show you all the applications associated with your Office 365 account. And you may need to scroll down, but you should see forms somewhere in this list. So what you're going to do is click on forms. And you're going to see my account already has lots of forms or assessments already created. If you have never used this before, it will be blank. You'll just have an area over here that says new. So in order to create a new form, what you're going to do is click on this plus sign. And you're going to get this blank slate here. So the first thing to do is name your form or name your assessment. What is this assessment going to be about? So you'll type in the name of your quiz or assessment. And over here where it says a description, you don't have to put anything here, but this is a good place to put directions for your students. So once we have our title and our description, what we're going to do is start adding questions. By clicking Add Question, you have five different types of questions that you can add. A choice option is for a poll, meaning there is no correct answer. There'll be a question with a number of different choices, and the students can pick from those choices one or more but there's again no correct answer it's a poll question a quiz question is what you're probably going to be using most often because this is what's going to allow you to pre-select the correct choice so that your assessment is automatically graded a text question allows your students to submit either a short answer or a long answer which has to be graded manually a rating again is more like a poll type of question where you're going to be rating something and a date allows for a date as an answer. So we're going to start with the one that we would most likely use, which is a quiz question. So if we type on in this little box over here where it says question, you put in your first question. And then you're going to enter your answers where it says option one, option two. And you can add as many options as you want. So if you want this to have four choices, all you need to do is click add an option. So you're filling your choices. And then you're going to pre-select the correct answer. So to pre-select the correct answer, you just hover your mouse by the correct choice and you click the arrow the little check mark and click it so that it says correct answer and it should illuminate in green. If you want to provide feedback for the student as to why this question is correct or why it is wrong, that's what this little box over here is for. Or if you want to get rid of the choice altogether, you can use that delete option. Below the question, you have some other choices here. You can assign point values. So if you want this to be automatically graded and um, you know how many questions are going to be in this assessment, you can do this now or you can go back and do it later. So if we know this is going to be maybe a quick quiz and we're only going to have a couple of questions in it, I might just assign this two points. Now, one thing that you do have to be careful with is the default option when you are creating question is that this question is not required, meaning the students could potentially skip it, submit all their answers, and then not get graded on it. So you're going to want to click this over to on so that the students can't submit this without skipping a question and they would lose points. This option over here allows for more than one correct answer. And if you click on these little three dots over here in the corner, if you want to shuffle the options within the question, meaning the answer choices, you can click that shuffle options here as well. But now we're all set to go for this particular question, and the rest is fairly repetitive. So if you want to go and create another question, we're just going to click add question, and we can repeat the same process. If you want to do a short answer, you can click short answer, and you can type in your question and you would leave the answer area. 
with a text question, by default, it will be a short answer question, which means it would limit the amount of characters a student could type. So if you want it to be long answer, which would give them more space, you can click that over to long answer. And again, default will always be on a not required question, so you're going to want to make sure that you slip, switch this over. And if you want to look for other options for this question type, you can click over here. If you need to go back and edit a question, all you need to do is move your cursor up and just click anywhere in that question field and you can make your changes. A good rule of thumb to make sure that you haven't forgotten to make your questions required is to go over to the upper right hand side and click preview. If you have made sure that your questions are required, you will see a little red star next to each one of your questions and you'll see a little legend over here that says that these are required. I like to do this to make sure that I haven't forgot to switch over any of my questions to make sure that they are required. So I'm going to go back over to my editing mode by clicking back and you're going to repeat the process choosing as many different question choices as you like and you can again you will see when you click on choice that it looks very similar to a quiz question except when you hover over here on the side you don't have the ability to choose a correct answer because there is no correct answer this is a polling type of question so this is just a quick way to start to develop your questions for your form this is web based so everything is saved automatically I don't have to hit save in my following videos I'm going to show you how to send this video to your students and how to change some options so that your quiz goes out the way you want it to go to all of your students.